This time we're checking out the game Art Attack, which describes itself as a 2D side-scrolling shoot-'em-up with gameplay inspired by Gradius, Silver Surfer, odd, odd reference that, and Cuphead. The aesthetic of each level is based on a different artist or art movement from history. This demo contains most of the first level, which is inspired by the artist Vince's Van Gogh. The game is still in early development. So yeah, this game is a basically a shoot 'em up with an art theme, with each level being focused around a different art style, which I think sounds rather charming. Uh, as it only has one level, uh, we can't really see the variance in mind with this demo, but it's still a neat idea. There's apparently a story too. Paper, a 15-year-old art academy student, has a special gift. She can bring her drawings to life. One day, while showing one of her living artworks at an exhibit, Paper begins to feel sad and frustrated that her work isn't being received well. She was just about to take her artwork home and leave the exhibit, when suddenly a strange vortex appears and transports Paper and her friends to a strange new world. It's up to you, the player, to help Paper fight her way back home. I like how the story is like, yeah, this is this girl, she's she feels sad and stuff, but also none of that matters because she gets it in a vortex. Like, okay. <laughs> Well, I guess having living artwork will help her in this vortex dimension. Of course, before I begin today, though, if you like the video, do you think about giving a like? If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here. But of course, we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Because it does help out immensely. We'd honestly love to have you. And honestly, these, this, I must say, as of late, Chat, I really appreciate you attending, but man, we could use some more chatter in here. So come on by, add to the talks. Uh, I always like a, a bit of chatter here. And there. Though it also is getting a bit late, that might be part of it, but still. Yeah, if you like to talk, guess what? You'll be useful here. Because <laughs> it gives me things to bounce off of. So come on by and have a chat. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links in the description and you can check them out at your leisure. We also have the good VV here. Hey, boy, boy. And an Esler that is early AFK, yeah. I think. <laughs> just <laughs> got back. Hello. Me. You mean you just got back? Is what you mean. That is what I said. Ah, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> also, could have grabbed, hey, who poked me? Yeah. I made you talk. The poke worked. <laughs> but also, uh, Shika, enjoy your Pathfinder session. I hope it goes well. Um, but yeah, every view helps, and I try, but my messages are always late. I'm sorry, Parker. You, I do recommend refreshing the stream down then if you're having lag. That can fix such things. But let's go ahead and start up this little demo and see what we got here. Okay, yeah, I definitely see the Van Gogh. Yep, famous Starry Nut. Makes sense. Starry what? Starry Night. What did you hear me say? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that, actually. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, I think I know it. You thought, oh, okay. I think I get it now. <laughs> Listen, I can't talk. Don't make fun of me. Actually, also, hold on. I now believe the music is slightly too quiet. The volume levels of this game were low, medium, and high. Which is very yeah. weird, by the way. The, the volume was actually like a bunter, like voice volume, but now, yeah, it's just very <laughs> low. Yeah, like also, it was almost overwhelming, but yeah. Yeah, yeah it was, it was kind of, it's, it, of course, with such a simple volume slider like low, medium, high, of course, the, sound, the volume I want is between medium and high, naturally. Man. This is better. This is a little bit better. So we have a little helper friend. And he... Okay, I see. He does follow me like Gradius. Okay. So if I want his actual help, I gotta move him into position, so to speak. These are extremely durable enemies, by the way. Oh no! Oh, 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 that just sits on you. Okay. I was wondering how many hits I had. I was like, wow, I have a lot of hits. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's like a... Okay, the, the Magician is like a Gradius option, but he sucks, you see, because he follows you, right? 
like the Gradius option does. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in Gradius, you can have these little options that they just mimic all your movements. So if you like wriggle back and forth, you can line them up with your own shots and it'd be very efficient, very handy to kill enemies faster. But this guy here, he follows you, but only if you get a certain distance away from him. So if I wriggle around a little bit, he will not actually follow me. So if I want him to follow me, I have to like legitimately just wriggle around enough to get him lined up because he will not do it otherwise. Demonstration, like, look, I've readjusted here and he hasn't moved at all. In Gradius, the option would be following me by then. So I don't, I mean, he's still useful, but you have to do an awful lot of movement if you want to line him up. So I, he's like gra the Gradius option, but like not as usable. <laughs> he's like a bad Gradius option. Though I guess you could, since he legs behind you, he could cover a different area than you, I suppose. That would potentially be useful, I guess, but... Oh, those are... <laughs> those look like collectibles. They are not collectibles. I guess I should have figured that, but... First thing I thought was, oh, there's like some weird lantern coin. Neat. Oh, so I'm going to comment on the music and just say that I think it's custom, but it's also like completely not inspiring me whatsoever, unfortunately. It's kind of just there. Also, look. I also, I find this very dissatisfying. This is a very simple thing to get wrong with shoot em ups. I've seen it a few times, but I find a shoot em up extremely dissatisfying if all the enemies take 5 million hits, meaning that you can't really kill them. I generally feel like in a shoot em up, like only the bosses should be that way. And if the bosses. Oh, why to parry projectiles, huh? Oh, I see. Oh, okay, well that makes things a little easier. I wonder if that would have killed the enemies faster. The basic shot, though, certainly doesn't really get them done. Like, yeah, I don't really like super spongy enemies. It's a bit of simple. Let's see if, let's see if Parian helps here. Okay, well that didn't really work, did it? Alright, let's try that again. Oh, with white outlines. Okay, so I cannot parry the other attacks. These are the only attacks I can parry so far. So, no, those other enemies are really just really tanky, and there's something I can do about it. Okay. Good to confirm that. I mean, I do have Artful, I assume... Uh-huh. Okay, that's a super. I figured as much. I mean, that'll help. So the Art Meter is full. I can take out enemies faster, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I have played the occasional shoot-up where enemies are tanky, and that can be designed well if you know what you're doing. Like, where is he going? All right, well, bye. Oh, uh, good news. He stopped following. Okay, now, what? Nope. Yep, yep, yep. He's, uh... He's decided that following me is for scrubs, and he's not going to do it anymore. Yeah, this really is, like, a greatest option, but if the option sucked and didn't help you whatsoever... <laughs> Or helped you minimally. Oh, hi! Welcome back! Come down again? Alright, cool. Okay, like, like, I'd like to put out... Just how many shots these guys are sucking up before they die. Like, seriously. I could understand it if it was, like, a larger enemy, because, like, shoot em up certainly have those enemies that come in that are, like, really the bigger, bulky guys, and they will take that many hits, but if every enemy takes that many hits, it's just obnoxious. I'm sorry. You could... It's totally fine to have more durable enemies, but they should be an accent around the level, not just literally everywhere.
Also, like, the cloud makes itself open so very rarely, and yet it still also is super tanky for some reason. Despite the fact that they take forever to kill. Um, like, they take forever to kill and, like, they constantly move to where you're at, so you can't really keep shooting them. You have to, like, back off. Yeah, I don't know. Not very satisfying. This is a very unsatisfying shoot 'em up for me. Alright, this enemy is barely attacking, so I'm gonna take even longer. Okay, no, they just had less hits. That's good. It looked like that enemy was gonna take forever to kill, though, because, because it was barely attacking. I think those enemies only die to parries. I think that's how that works. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't really feel worth it. It doesn't really feel worth attacking the enemies. That's not a good feeling. That's not good at all when a, sh a shoot -em up makes me go, this doesn't feel worth doing. Like, yeah, sure, when during little mini-boss areas where we have to stop for a second, sure, that's fine. Makes sense to attack there, but... I mean, enemies, that's a, oh, you know what, actually? Tanky enemies are okay in a shoot -em up if the shoot 'em up has power-ups that increase your fire rates, number of bullets, you know, etc., give you extra missiles or something. You notice how this doesn't have that, though? Like, I I presume we, we have the art attack, obviously, but that's a special. That's different than having enhanced... Wow, that's it. I... You know, that was a very small slice of gameplay, but I really didn't like it. I'll be honest with you. I played I played a lot of shoot 'em ups and mind you, I'm not a pro at shoot 'em ups there are plenty of shoot em ups where I, I struggle to beat them or even make much progress at all. But even so, like I can think of, uh, what was that one? Is it Ikaruga, the one where you have to change your polarity? I struggle yeah. with Ikaruga. But that's a good game. I can't really beat it, but it's still fun. It's still got plenty of energy. It's still got plenty going on. Like, just because a shoot em up is too difficult for me doesn't mean that that's a bad shoot em up. So I'm not judging something based on my own skill level when it comes to shoot 'em ups. There are shoot 'em ups that are very tip difficult, but they're still fun. They're still exciting. Um, this is boring. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this wasn't very good. Like every enemy being tanky, an option that doesn't follow me correctly, and I have to really struggle to get into position. And by that time, it's probably not worth it anymore because I need to react quick. You need to react quickly to shoot 'em up. So laying up the options should be something that you could do quickly. You know. Uh, and yeah, like no power ups either. Like not only you don't need power ups in a in a shoot 'em up to have a good time. You don't need to have enhanced weapons and stuff. But the weapons, if the enemies are going to be this tanky, desperately need that. Yeah, I have there's a special I can use, but which I guess I wasn't using very much. But to be fair, I don't really use specials that often in these games. And honestly, a special should not be required to actually tr kill off the, all the enemies on a screen. Like, I should, in gen generally, you should be able to kill most enemies on a screen if you're skilled enough, without needing a special, that is, in a shoot -em up. But at least that's my opinion. I say most because there are definitely those high octane situations where it's literally impossible to kill everything, unless maybe you do use a super. But nonetheless, you should be able to take out a good chunk of the enemies uh, through your own skill alone. Which means the enemies should not be so tanky as to make that impossible. I figured I'd come back in and see if there's any other art attacks. And yeah, the special actually has damage. It's very clear the special's damage is much higher than my current weapon. Than my... And yeah, this option character, he'd be a nice bonus if he didn't feel so necessary. Because he does feel necessary. He feels like if I don't have, if I don't add his firepower to mine, then I basically am weak as shit. And I need his firepower. Also, I was really hoping there was going to be multiple art attacks, which is why I came back in. Like, multiple supers. It looks like it's just one, though. Also, when I get hit, why does it sound like... What do I sound like a sad dog? I'm not a sad boy. Really do I? Because you're sad. <laughs> well, I am a little sad. I'm a little sad about the quality of this game, but I'm not. But my character isn't a sad dog, though. <laughs> like, listen to that, though. It sounds like a dog where you just, like, s slapped it or something. Don't do that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> sounds mean. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a hurt dog. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, 
Okay, there's one saving grace to the enemies being tanky. You can build up your art attack by hitting an enemy, not just killing it. I do appreciate that, at least. Especially since they literally take 5 million shots. But, yeah, I mean, early demo... Listen, aesthetically, I think it looks fine. I think the art style they're going for, and the idea of having different art styles for different uh, stages is a good idea. However... This little showing, while well, very small slice of it, obviously, it doesn't even have a proper, like, stage boss, which I assume it will in the full release, or the later demos. But, even for a very early showing, I don't know, man, it just feels so boring, limited. Like, you're just, you just have basic shot and option that doesn't follow you correctly. Enemies are super tanky, all you can do is just plow into them until they eventually die. Occasionally you get to use a super, and that's, the super's kind of nice, I like the super well enough, but, yeah, it's just... Man, it's so mad. It's so unexciting. <laughs> and excitement is like one of the number one things that shoot 'em ups generally get right. Like, that's normally part of the focus of a shoot 'em up. It doesn't have to be necessarily. You can do other types of shoot 'em ups, but most shoot 'em ups are good at generating excitement. This is kind of the opposite. It's just slow and boring. Hmm. Any last thoughts? I don't have any more, personally. No. Bah. I guess, boy, I, sub boy, boy. I, I guess I've been summarizing these outros well enough by myself. Uh, <laughs> nothing to add. <laughs> There's not really much you can add to this, though. You know, what you see is what you get, so... That was Art Attack. I hope they can improve the general uh, game speed, pace, excitement, function, like, complexity, stuff like that. It feels like it desperately everything. a little bit of everything. Everything aside from the, the art style is nice. But the gameplay is so ordinary. So, like, way too ordinary. It is a shoot 'em up. It is a rudimentary shoot 'em up, but it has no charm whatsoever in its gameplay. So, that was our attack.